What is up everyone? Today's video is absolutely packed with news. In fact, I don't even know what I'm gonna call today's video because there's just so much in it. I guess today's video is going to be somewhat of a community episode. You guys keep sending me things that you think other people will be interested in, and we are going to be taking a look at quite a few of those today. So, as usual, in case you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to smack that little subscribe button down below, and let's get right into it. Okay, so the first piece of news that we're actually going to take a look at today is not something that is entirely available just yet, but surprisingly, it will be very, very soon. It is something called Project Galea. Galea is real, and presale will be early next year. It has been tested on around a dozen heads. Now, that might sound a little bit creepy, and that's probably because it is. Galea is a BCI device, a brain-computer interface, and Valve has been working on these for quite some time time now. It seems that not only is it real and ready, it is also going on pre-sale early next year, which is a lot sooner than I expected any of these to go on pre-sale. This is very, very exciting. We have been waiting for BCIs to kind of reach this point for quite a while now, and it definitely seems like Valve has stepped it up a notch, and this thing is huge. Like, looking at the images, this is super exciting. I wonder what developers will be able to do with this, and just overall what the possibilities are. We've tried out a BCI device before, however, it was mostly directly connected to your vision. This seems to be able to do quite a little bit more, so definitely interested in that. Let me know what you think down below. Are you excited for BCI? Eyes, or are you afraid of them being able to read your mind? Well, I don't think we're at that point yet. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? Okay, now let's move on to probably one of the most exciting parts of today's video, which is VR and artificial intelligence on the Oculus Quest 2. Now, I don't know whether this would be possible on the Oculus Quest 1, because this clearly requires quite a little bit of computing power. This is also quite a little bit creepy, but it really shows you how incredible and insane the future ahead of us is looking. The Oculus Quest 2 is a very powerful device, and as much as we might have the hardware, but we're missing the kind of software side of things, how cool would it be if you could have a conversation with an AI that was not pre-scripted, and you could play a game based on your actions? Well, that is exactly what one of these developers decided to do. And I know that this isn't anything new. In fact, this video was released in January of 2021, so it's not very new. And I know that other developers have also gone the ways of GPT-3 to prove what it can do in VR. But this is the video you guys wanted me to share with the world, and honestly, I think this is super interesting, and really shows you what the future can be. So why not bring it into the spotlight, even if it is a few months old? Let me read you the description of this video. Speak with an advanced AI designed to mimic famous people. I made a virtual reality experience where you can talk to famous people in VR as if they are standing right next to you. The demonstration VR conversation with a virtual Elon Musk is completely unscripted. All responses were generated entirely by GPT-3 Live. This is a proof of concept. Characters and environments are essentially placeholders for more advanced scenes. I don't currently have plans on releasing this, but may add it in the future. So this is super, super cool. The conversation had in this video, which you can of course check out right up here, is completely unscripted. This is all generated by the AI on the fly. And as you can see, it takes a little while for it to react, but this can definitely be improved upon in the future. The fact that this is completely unscripted, the AI knows what you're saying and knows how to respond, well, it's kind of creepy, but also incredibly, incredibly cool. I see so many benefits to games and how scenes could play out using this in the future. Of course, if we want to have VR games, it would be also nice to kind of have the conversations we're able to have in real life with the characters in the game. Of course, maybe them pushing us towards an objective, but also being able to respond in case we go off script. That would be super, super cool. And I believe that this is where the future lies, as well as, of course, this somewhat needing to be regulated so that it doesn't take over the world. But that is incredible. Let me know what you think about this one down below. Do you think it's creepy? Would you like to have a conversation with an AI. I mean, I certainly am looking forward to when our AI devices at home reach this level of intelligence. Now, this one is also one that a lot have been waiting for. Driver for VR, the software that we use for full body tracking with the Kinect and the software that overall has a bunch more features that you can play around with to get 
cheaper full body tracking in VR without Vive pucks or anything like that. Currently, I'm using Slime VR, but it seems that these technologies have moved on quite a little bit. VRChat full body tracking with only one webcam has been released on Driver 4 VR. We've tried this before and it didn't work the best, but things have moved on and the technology has matured. And it seems right here on Driver 4 VR's YouTube page, which of course as well, you can check out right up here. This one seems to work pretty damn well. And you can now utilize one camera in order to have full body tracking using Driver 4 VR. We might test this out in the future or maybe during a live stream, but in case you guys are interested to find out more, of course, check out that video right up there. And we are going to move on to the next one. Update V35 for the Oculus Quest 2 seems to be live, according to some people on Reddit. And we got quite a bit in update v34 but i'm not certain what we get in v35 especially since the change logs don't seem to be live yet according to a reddit user called big top game studio just got v35 and the controller updates at the same time anyone seen any change logs but apparently there are no change logs and we don't know entirely what is out in v35 just yet but you bet that if it's something exciting we're gonna cover it and apparently some users down below got v35 from the ptc toggled it in the oculus mobile app. That's interesting, because the public test channel is only available for certain users, not for everyone. But if this is the public test channel release, we have the update zip to it right here, courtesy of this Reddit user. So I wonder that if we installed this PTC, this public test channel release, would we automatically be shoved in to the public test channel. Definitely quite interesting, and that would only work if this is actually a public test channel release, which I don't actually have access to. I tried turning it on, but it didn't work, and it didn't work for a bunch of others either. I'm going to update later on and let you guys know. Okay, this is one that everyone is waiting for, including myself. Minecraft coming to the Oculus Quest 2. Now, don't jump up and down just yet, because that's what I wanted to do, but this may just be a lot of hype. This is not confirmed and we don't know what's happening. We know that this is one of the most anticipated games on the quest and it is probably in the works. We also know quest craft is a thing, but it's been a while and development is hard. It seems that Oculus may or may not have been leaking some things here and there and Reddit has been getting hyped. According to the Reddit user, the most random gamer, one of the Oculus Quest gift guides has Minecraft swords in its thumbnail and the other devices tab icon that shows up on Minecraft.net when you purchase just the game has been updated. Could this be pointing towards Minecraft coming to the Oculus Quest? This is certainly quite interesting. And looking at the page, it has been updated with others getting a new logo, but others being discontinued. I don't know if you guys remember, but we actually stopped getting updates for the Minecraft Gear VR edition. So supposedly, why would they be updating it if we weren't getting any updates anymore, if it was discontinued? And those certainly do look like Minecraft swords, but people down below, of course, have said that this is pointing towards retro games. So, you know, those swords could just be an 8-bit retro version of a sword, not necessarily Minecraft. But again, Minecraft for the Oculus Quest being one of the most anticipated games, I'm sure they have something in the works, or at least I'd hope so. This could be pointing towards it, but I definitely don't want to get my hopes up since this is very, very small. Let me know what you think about this one down below. Do you think that this is them hinting towards it? Apparently they've been hinting towards some stuff on Twitter as well. Could we be getting a Christmas Minecraft Oculus Quest release? Who knows? And do you think it's going to be a Quest 2 exclusive? Since that seems to be a trend now, I could see a lot of people getting quite upset if that was the case. Open source finger tracking is now a thing using the Mayo armband. For those of you that don't know, the Mayo armband is a little arm interface like this. And it goes around your arm just like so and senses your muscle activity. Then that can be translated into, well, anything in case you're a developer. I'm not. Isn't that ironic? I'm wearing LTT merch and I drop something. And it's even more unfortunate since these can't be gotten anymore. I'm not a developer, so I've been using this thing to kind of control my music. It's really cool. It seems that other people have been working. Facebook bought out Mayo back in the past, and now they're using this technology in order to get their hand tracking in the works for AR glasses and future VR. This could improve hand tracking quite a little bit because it would no longer rely on cameras, but on your muscle activity. And Facebook does seem to have gotten that down quite well. And it seems that now this thing has an open driver for Steam VR for hand tracking. It seems super cool. And user Perlin Warp shows you how it works on Reddit. Of course, link 
down below. I might be trying that myself, but if I need to compile or build anything, I'm going to give up because I'm so bad at this. It takes me like four hours and I get nowhere. Really cool and I really want to try it, but we'll see how it goes. Very excited to see the future of this tech and hopefully more companies start developing for it since, as I said, the Mayo armband can't be gotten anymore since Facebook bought it out and the website has been taken down, so getting software for it is incredibly difficult. Overall, super, super cool. Now, something I just want to mention very briefly, people having issues with the Quest 2, with things saying it's not responding, with things saying they are stopping. I just want to let you know you're not alone because people have been talking about it on our Discord. I have been having the same issues and I don't know what's causing it, but for the last little while, my Quest 2 has actually gotten very slow. I'm thinking of just formatting it and starting fresh since I think that would probably fix it. Some people said just install an update manually and that's going to fix it, but I just want to let you know, I myself don't have any fix for it right now since again a lot of people have been asking in fact i've switched over to playing on my quest one for the last few days including yesterday when we were playing with the treadmill that i'm still working on a video on for you guys and if i find a fix i will let you know something weird is happening and i'm not entirely certain what it is that was quite a negative note but on a positive note the oculus quest 2 is number three on amazon's most wished for in video games the reddit user lost from off vr has posted this image of amazon most wished for in video games and the quest 2 is number three hate facebook all you want but as the top reddit comment says you can't deny the fact that they have brought vr into the spotlight and this seriously shows it i mean look at that a vr device in the top three most wished for in video games. This shows you that companies now are going to get more and more into VR because they see how many people enjoy it and they see how many people want it. So again, you know, it's just, it's super exciting. And I love sharing things like this with you guys because over the years, we can go back on these videos and just see how far we've come. Puts a smile on my face. And posted by Sadly It's Bradley on Twitter, it seems EM3 has disclosed a prototype of ultra thin VR glasses codenamed Ether. So Ether just overall, really cool code name. It is only 6.8 millimeters thick and weighs less than 35 grams, making it the world's thinnest VR near eye display solution to date, using a micro OLED plus waveguides to achieve this form factor. Look at that. If that isn't the thinnest pair of VR glasses I have ever seen, I don't know what is. That is so cool. And the future ahead of us is looking super futuristic. This makes me so unbelievably excited. I know that it is just a prototype, but damn, people below are speculating whether it's fake or not, but Bradley doesn't think it's fake. You know, that is entirely up to your speculation. Let me know what you think down below. I hope it's not fake. It looks so, so cool. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. As you have probably noticed, the channel has a new channel icon, so I hope you guys like that. Let me know what you think about it down below. People voted for purple on the Discord, so the background is purple. I think it came out pretty well, but yeah, don't be surprised, new channel icon. But overall, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night. In case you guys like this video, please leave a like. It helps the channel out a lot. In case you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, make sure to check out our Discord down below and make sure to check out our Reddit. And of course, in case you want to join us for daily videos, every day smack the subscribe button thank you so much to the patreon supporting this channel you guys mean a whole ton to me and just help me pay the bills buy better equipment and make these videos better so thank you so much for that and in case you guys want to support the channel in any way shape or form we've got sick mugs down below that boost your fps by 300 percent and merch that does not put a huge ad on your body and of course if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead ding my bell and see you again in the next video peace